On Saturday, April 27, in the United Arab Emirates, President Uru Kenyatta reportedly met with the Vice President and Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates Huey who was the Emir ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The Emir is said to have raised concerns about problems he was having with his gold consignment that was to be airlifted to Nairobi. The Emir is reported to have produced an audio recording that was replayed to the President purportedly in a conversation between the royal family's representative and a Kenyan contact. The recording is believed to be the same one that was leaked online at the weekend, and which prompted a statement from the Director of Public Prosecutions DPP Norton Haji directing the police to investigate the audio clip titled Wet Angela Exposed in Fake Gold Scam apparently referring to Bungoma Senator Moses Wet Angela. Officials aware of the meeting in Dubai say also present was opposition leader Rayla Odinga, who is also the African Union's high representative for infrastructural development. The leaders were returning from a summit in China. Rela and Uru had stopped over in Dubai for a weekend-long meeting on their way from Beijing, where they had attended the Belt and Roads Forum a signature project for Chinese President Xi Jinping to connect Africa, Asia and Europe, officials said. During the meeting, the Dubai ruler is said to have shared with Uru the audio that captured a conversation between his nephew Ali Zandi and the Kenyan contact, and also explained how they had been taken in circles in Nairobi over the gold consignment that was to be trucked from DRC Congo and flown out via Jambo Kenyatta International Airport. The sheik had been told by their Kenyan contacts the gold consignment had been seized at Chia, but authorities say the Dubai ruler was conned as there was no such cargo. It would appear Sheikh Maktoum had decided to raise the matter personally with Uru because it had been three months since he had lodged a protest with Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Mashenga over the gold consignment allegedly seized at Chia. In the January 20th letter, the Sheikh had requested immediate action regarding the shipment of gold under our company's names Libya, which is being retained by your authorities in Kenya. The Sheikh had acknowledged that he understood the delay was caused by the last terrorist attack in your country apparently referring to the Dusa 2 terror attack on January 15. Nevertheless, now we need your immediate and strong action to release the totality of Slivia gold shipment to UE as soon as possible and according to the instructions by our general manager Mr Zondi, who is there in Kenya to organize the shipment. It is quite urgent to solve this issue the earliest, the letter by the Dubai ruler had read. Zondi flew to Nairobi on the eve of Christmas Day, last year, and was still in Kenya by the time the sheikh wrote to Dr Mashangai to try to trace the gold haul from Dan Tribe in DRC Congo since it had been three months since the deal was sealed with the Kenyan contacts. The scheme started on September 25, last year, when the group approached Zondi, who represents Slivia Company, a gold trading company based in Dubai. They had said they would deliver 4.6 tons of gold. Zondi had been in Kenya for almost a month and left sometime in February, without the precious cargo. Having reached a dead end, it would appear the sheikh saw an opportunity in Uru's stopover in Dubai to seek his intervention. On returning back to the country, Uru reportedly summoned his security bosses and played the audio to them. Among those present in the meeting were Mashangai, National Intelligence Service boss Major General Philip K. Maru, Inspector General of Police Hilary Mutyambai and Interior Principal Secretary Karanja Kibicho. Uru expressed concerns over the con games in the country for which Njkia is used as the operational base. The head of state then demanded immediate action. That order apparently has triggered the police operation that has seen arrests of more than a dozen people and discovery of fake gold in Kyle Nairobi. The operation has also seen the arrest of businessman Jared Oshinom, who was detained over claims he swindled a man from Laos SH 300 million on the pretense he would supply him with gold. The police say the operation against those behind several fake gold deals in the country is ongoing and more suspects are set to be arrested. Other officials said the saga was first brought to the attention of the president in early April by Rayla. This was after Rella flew to Dubai and met Sheikh Martin, who reportedly asked for his intervention to have the said gold weighing 4.6 tons released from Jkia.
During the meeting at a hotel in Dubai, a Kenyan who has been mentioned in the saga was introduced to Rayla as the one who was supposed to supply the said gold from DRC, but the commodity was detained at Jkia. The Kenyan man was embarrassed when he called a man purporting to be Mashangai on the phone only for Rayla to declare the person on the other end was not the CS. He put the phone on a loudspeaker and when Rayla heard the voice of the other party, he intervened and declared it was not the CS. This ended the conversation, said an official aware of the issue. It was at that point that Rayla is said to have told the Dubai ruler they had been swindled and promised to raise the matter with the Kenyan officials. Rela is said to have flown back to Kenya and met the president and other security officials, and informed them of the saga.